This is a video to Eddie Ayn and all his supporters of AJ. We're not bothered about Anthony Joshua one iota. And here's what you can do. If he wants a fight in June, get it ready for June, Eddie. We'll take him as a warm-up fight in. We value Anthony Joshua that much, we'll take him as a warm-up fight in June. So get your ass in gear, get everything needs doing done, and we'll take him in June. We'll have the first fight with him. Because Tyson is fighting twice this year, but we'd like AJ to be the first one on the on the on the uh, on the butcher's block. So get your ass in gear, mate. Wave your magic wand and let's get this fight started. Because nobody's bothered about your you or AJ in any one any in any way, shape, or form. AJ up first, chopping block June. And if you can't put up, shut up. Do that. What's good family? Smash the like button and subscribe. So we just heard dare from John <gasps> Theory. Now I feel I do I can't lie to you, man. Whenever I see a six foot nine man, or when sorry, whenever I hear a six foot nine man crying to his dad, begging him for support, I feel bad. Now we I did a video a few probably a week ago now on John Fury. John Fury came out and I, I kind of praised, I half praised him and said, John, I respect you for being honest. John Fury said, oh, my son, he's busy. Oh, he feels ill. Oh, he's, oh, he can't fight AJ. Oh, the venues. Oh, the C-19. Oh, that's what he said. We know that a week before that week, so two weeks ago, Fury himself came out and said, oh, I'm too stressed. Oh, I need time off. Oh, so <laughs> you heard the two recordings there. And I've, I've praised both men. Fury, you shook the bits. It's fine. You're broken. And this ain't my words, by the way. Fury himself said, and listen, all oh, you goofy Fury dons. Oh, well, why be? Oh, why be, mate? No, mate. Oh, oh no, he's only having a laugh, mate. Oh, you know what Fury... No, we don't know what Fury is like. Because he weren't doing that with Wilder. And he fought Wilder twice, do you understand? I follow patterns. Don't be giving me, oh, well, you know what it's like. No, I don't know what it's like. Because when it was Wilder, he was straight in there. I'm going to march forward and get way all over him. 290 pound inside fighting us. In fact, when it was David Hay, saying the same thing. And when it was Vlad, saying the same thing. Vlad, you're no good, you're a robot. I'm getting all over you. When it comes to AJ, oh, I'm tired. Oh, even though he hasn't boxed for 12, 14 months. What do you mean you're tired? What do you mean you're just at rest? Stressed about what? You haven't been doing nothing. Been hanging around the place. So anyway, that's to give you, I'll give you my background now. Obviously. Fury comes out, telling everyone, that there's nothing signed, I don't want no smoke. John Fury comes out, says the same thing, on BT Sport. We don't want no smoke, there's venues and it's so calm. My man, John Fury, got the education level of a, of a second grader. He's talking about, same as Fish Eyes, talking about regulations and did you know, did you know on April 19th there's this particular... You know, there's this particular statue coming out, which means that if this and that, and all this deep stuff. Never heard John Fury talk about anything that deep. They're quoting this line of the law, and that line of the law, and section 9.8a, all this business. Yeah? Obviously, Fury's now clocked on. Oops. Speaking, because Fury's used to, over the last few years, Fury's been praised for speaking the truth. People have rode him hard for it. Now, he, so he's forgotten that, People actually want to see this fight. Talking the truth, but nothing's going on. Everyone's down for that. Everyone wants to, oh yeah, look, Fury's talking the truth. You know what he's like? Yeah, this is great. Fury's a truth speaker. What he didn't realise is, fans are fickle. Fans will back you, as long as you're doing stuff they, they half want to see. No one minds all the truth stuff, if you're getting in there and doing what you're supposed to be doing. When you're washing wilder, no one don't mind the truth. But you can't be telling the truth about your feelings now, when the feelings are getting in the way of what the fans want. Oh! I'm ill. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, mentally. Oh, that business don't don't fly now. People don't want to hear about your mental problems. Get in there with AJ because you talked to it for the longest. You were for three, for, for two, three, four years ago uh, when you were talking about bodybuilder and he's stiff and we want to hear that. That's what the fans want to want to hear. The fans want to hear how stiff AJ is. We want to hear how much of a bodybuilder he is. How much we want to see. We want you us to tell us. What you can do to the big stiff bodybuilder? Where's all that gone? Oh, I'm tired. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm not feeling right. I need a rest. That's not what... Something's not lining up here. Anyway, getting to the point of this video. 
John Fury now said similar things to his son. They're all in cahoots here. Fury has told Bob, told Frank, told his dad, I'm not really feeling this one. And that's why they're all on a unified tour of regulations. Because they can't really come out, even though Fury let it slip that he's mentally broken by the prospect of fighting AJ. They're not gonna, that's not going to be the, you know what I mean? They're not going to set a press conference up and say, well, the reason we're fighting Panini again, and the reason we're fighting Wallin again, is because... I'm shook of fighting AJ. No, they're going to say, oh, it's because, you know, we, we did tell you the regulations. Even though everyone else is fighting. There hasn't, tell me one fight yet that hasn't happened because of regulations. Tell me one. Which one? Which big fight hasn't happened? I mean, we've even got Terence Craw we've got Crawford versus Pacquiao. Now, I'm not saying that's bigger than AJ, but the point is, you've got McGregor fighting. People who are actually arguably bigger than AJ and Fury. Have been fighting, not one person moaning, everyone else getting on with it. Even AJ himself fighting. No problem. But all of a sudden, Fury, the man who's probably barely in the top five of top pay-per-view draws at the moment, he he got problems if he can't make things happen. Everyone else fighting. So we know that's exposed anyway, and that is what it is. But moving to what we see today, the reason John Fury has come on here and he's now backpedaling. Oh, Eddie, get it done. Oh, that's not the true video. I've got a leaked audio recording, wiretap thing, of Fury ringing his dad and begging him, begging him to put a... This is what here's what you call a hit piece. This is what here's a hit piece. The BBC do them, all the big corporations do them, and now Fury's doing them, hit piece videos. A hit piece video is when it's all pure, not even a bit of true news. Just putting stuff out there to cover the narrative up. And that's what you're hearing. People's true opinions or true feelings and thoughts is what you hear the first time. It's like that other guy, that YouTube Don, who's come out recently and apologised twice. What do you mean you apologised twice? How can you apologise twice? Whatever you felt was the first one. The second one just means you've, you didn't like the response or that you got backlash for it and now you're backtracking. John Fury told you the truth of it. We don't want this... There's venues and there's C19. Not happening. You know what the world's like. It can't happen. Drop Tyson Fury then begged his dad. Oh, please, John. Please, daddy. Oh, go on to IG. Go on to Instagram and tell the fans that it's not me. Oh, please, daddy. Oh, please, John. Go on to Instagram and tell the fans that it's AJ. Tell them to make the fight. Tell them, please, daddy. So you heard there. That's half of the audio. The other half's coming soon. Fury begging his dad. To backtrack and wind in and hit piece the other narrative out there. Oh, Daddy, tell them, tell them it's AJ. Tell them, tell them AJ's an easy fight. Please, Daddy, please, John, go on there and tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! But listen, that's the other. Listen, I played the first tape. There's the second. There's the third quarter, and the next quarter's coming in a sec. Once I get to sort out my um, had some technical difficulties there. But you get the drift of it. You get the drift of it. And it's, I'd love, listen, I'd love to come on in and say, Oh, YB, you know what it's like. He loves to have a laugh and he's having a good... This ain't no laughing. You heard it. He's desperate. And I feel... I, I, listen, listen to the start of the video. I said to you, I feel bad hearing a six foot nine Don with that kind of emotion in his voice. He, he ain't feeling... Uh, look, again, I feel bad for him. I genuinely do. I feel, I feel out... My heart goes out to him, but... He worked himself into this situation. No one made you talk all that greasy talk. He could have said, you know what? I went on to Steve Bunce's. When people ask Fury about AJ, yeah, he could have said, if you want to know my thoughts about AJ, listen to the Steve Bunce interview. That should have been Fury's position. And then, if Fury's position had been, I'm not going to, I haven't got no comment on AJ. Just listen to my Steve Bunce interview. And the Steve Bunce interview said, I got whooped by him. No one would be calling for that fight. Do you understand? In 2021, even if Fury had a belt, no one would be calling for it. We'd all be saying, well, we can't, we can't knock Fury for having mental problems now. Because he told us, it, his position has been for the last seven years that he got whooped by AJ. So it wouldn't be no shock. But when you've been saying, oh, he's a bodybuilder. Oh, he's no good. He's too stiff. Too stiff. People want to see that. People want to see... Your fans, genuinely, the reason your fans are flipping on you right now, and the reason you have to bring your dad up and beg him 
to change the narrative. Because Fury thought, genuinely, I spoke to Fury, and he, gen he thought that he could just throw the mental health thing out there again. That's what he thought. He thought, oh, the fans love me so much that they're going to, that if, if I just tell them I've got mental problems again, they're going to let the AJ fight slide. That's not how it works. The reason you have any sort of loyal fans is because they're expecting you to go in there and wash AJ. The only reason Fury has fans is, is from AJ, people who, who don't like AJ. Do you understand? Fury didn't, this is what people forget. They've got a very short memory. When Fury won the belt in 2015, he was, what's the word? He was like a niche product. He, re he wasn't, people don't understand. Who Fury is today isn't who he was in 2015. Most of you casual dons didn't even know Fury until he beat Wild, And that's the truth of it, honestly. It's not a bad thing, but I'm just calling a spade a spade. In 2015, no one didn't know Fury. He weren't doing it like that. Now he's beat Wilder, or now, since he's beat Wilder and he's been associated with AJ, that's how he's got come into this, or he's come onto the global stage. That's how it happened. It's not happened naturally, because naturally, when 2015, when he won, didn't no one know him. And it wasn't until 2018, when he beat Wilder, that things started actually increasing. On the back of AJ, essentially. All of it's on the back of him. In his own right, ain't no one interested. Look at the pay-per-view numbers. Fury's never even done a pay-per-view in the UK. He's not a big name in his own right. So his whole value comes from people waiting for the AJ one. They want to see that one. That's always been the one. And now, and in a way, like people say in the past that Fury is very intelligent. And I'm not too sure on that. But thinking about it now, this may have all been one big ploy. Fury beats what? Fury beats Vlad. Then he thinks to himself, wait there a minute, AJ is knocking around. I know he whooped me in 2012. I've now got the belt. AJ is knocking on the door. Because he was, wasn't he? AJ, when Vlad, sorry, when Fury beat Vlad, it was only six months later that AJ had the belt off of, had the IBF six months later after Fury fought Vlad. So just do the maths here. AJ would have been knocking on Fury's door not much more than a year later after Fury beat Vlad. Do you think it's a coincidence? Fury beats Vlad and then loses his head and disappears. No, he knew full well what was going on. If I hang around for too long, I've got to go in there with AJ. Let me just hang back. And also, let me sit in, let me build in. Your boy Fury's on some inception thing. He's, he's, set, he's laying seeds. In 2015, Fury set the seeds. I'm going to plant some seeds here that I've got mental whatevers. And then... I can pull that one out of the bag when I need it. You didn't hear Fury whining about stress when he fought Wilder four times. Now all of a sudden, he, he's, he's reeling it back out. But he's realised, it ain't gonna wash. Ain't no one interested in that now. When you weren't fight, when you was hanging around or whatever, and you was just on the up and up, and no one cared. If you want to bring out the mental stuff, cool. Now, fans don't want to hear it. They're not interested. And this video from John... It's a last ditch attempt to just throw something else out there and mix it all up. Get it all, get everyone confused. One minute we say we don't want it. Next minute, as you heard there from John Fury, oh, we do want it. And AJ and Eddie Hearn get it done. That's another thing. Let me finish on this. Let's get to the, deep, the particulars of what John Fury says here. Oh, Eddie Hearn, get it done. Eddie Hearn, get it done. Wait there. There's, there's another side to this. Why, and this, I never understood this, why is it always Eddie Hearn? Why is it always Team AJ that have got to do things? Why can't Bob Arum and Fish Eyes get it done? Bearing in mind, you know, they're the ones who are opposing things. They're the ones moaning about regulations. They're the ones being negative. So why isn't John Fury saying, Oh, Frank Warren, get it done. Oh, Bob Arum, get it done. Oh, we want this badly. Anthony Joshua, we want him. Frank, Fish Eyes, get it done. He ain't saying that. No words to fish eyes. No words to Bob Arum. Oh, Eddie Hearn, get this done. Eddie, you, you man are the ones who are lagging. Do you understand? Eddie Hearn and AJ are the ones who are pushing for this. Don't, so it's nothing to do with them. You need to get your team sorted out. Your team are the ones saying we don't expect it to happen. I did a video on it. Fish eyes said it's not happening. In my opinion, how can you expect it to happen? Because of the venues and the C19. That's his position, 100%. Out of his own mouth. Not mine, out of his mouth. Anyway... Moving on. So that's the first part. Why is it all about Eddie Hearn, get this done, Eddie Hearn, get that done? 
Where's your team in this? Next part. We're not, he says we're not bothered about AJ. If he wants it in June, get it ready for June. But more importantly, it's what he says next. We're fighting twice. Listen, John Fury says we're fighting twice this year. We want AJ to be one of them. And I'll probably do a video on this in its own right, but just quickly. Does that not sound fishy to you? It sounds to me like Fury's planning on, if he wins that AJ fight, he's planning on ducking out of dodge again. Doing a one, you know what it's like? Fury's renowned, is in fact, his whole career's been based on winning once and running away, but, and that weird, listen to it. You've signed already a two-fight deal, so what do you mean, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll have AJ as the first fight? No, you'll have AJ for both of the fights. And I'm not, he ain't gonna win the first one either, but I just find that interesting, that mentality. What is this mentality of winning once and then running around the place? We're fighting twice this year, and we'll have AJ as the first one. No, AJ would be both of them. But this just goes to show their, the, like, the deception and the, how devious they are behind the scenes. Clearly, they've already had talk. In my opinion, I reckon they've had talks about it. Oh well, yeah, we'll fight AJ, and if we do win, we're going to do it once, and we'll fight, and then we'll uh, beat people twice. That's the bottom line. And if you and if you don't like that, don't sign for it twice. I've got no problem, yeah. If you only like to do one hit of quitters, just sign that. Don't, but don't sign for two and then only do one. Don't make no sense.